there's a derrick off to the south just being drilled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You go up on the ridge, there's 16, 17, right? You know, I can see from here. And those are all, all new Bakken wells. But in another five years, there'll, there'll probably be, you know, if there's 17 wells here now, there'll probably be 47. I w it wouldn't surprise me, the way they're, the way they're talking. This program is funded by the North Dakota Humanities Council, a nonprofit, independent state partner of the National Endowment for the Humanities. The North Dakota Council on the Arts. And by the members of Prairie Public. I'll be 10 8. I've been with the Sheriff's Office since December, so it'll be almost a year. I used to work for the Williston Police Department. I left and went to the oil field for six months. I missed this too much and came back. Typical day would just be patrolling and making sure everything's all right in the county, running traffic. You know, everybody used to be excited for a Friday night because that's when the action would happen. It doesn't matter if it's Friday anymore. It could be Monday, it could be Sunday, and just crazy. I patrol Williams County, and we're running quite thin. There's a bar in town, and Friday, Saturday nights, it's pretty much expected to go to that bar at 1 a.m. for a bar fight. The weapons calls have increased drastically. You know, there's prostitution, of course, you know. The traffic has gotten horrible. Before, you could make it across town in five minutes, if that. Now it takes 20. This is the, uh, the RV park. You'll be driving by one day, nothing will be here. You'll drive by the next day, and boom, it's here. We've gotten calls frequently just because there's so many people moving in. The people we have here now are not like the people, you know, we still deal with our locals, of course, you know, the frequent flyers, if you will, but there are people here now who, they don't, they don't care if you're a cop or not. They don't care if you're telling them to do something. It, it doesn't matter to them. It's, it is very stressful and it's very concerning. At three in the morning, on a Monday night, you could, wouldn't see a car downtown Williston, right on the highways at all. Now it's just all night steady. Cars, people walking, steady. It was in April of uh, 51 that they hit oil. Amarada Petroleum at that time were uh, leasing land and they come around and lease to my dad anyhow. And I'm sure when he leased it, he just thought, wasting their time coming up here to North Dakota to drill for oil. And it was really exciting when they started, you know, we'd never seen anything like that before. They'd come down with uh, truck after truck of, of this oil well parts and, and then they got it all, finally got it all put together and then they started drilling and, and people in North Dakota were used to seeing anything like that. They'd come up Sundays and, and uh, just to see what was going on. And, and it was quite a bit of traffic and people were pretty excited about, about the first oil rig in North Dakota. You know, every time you'd go to town, everybody would ask you, will they hit oil yet, they hit oil yet? No, 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 yeah. And then they were hoping it would develop into something that's profitable. They knew they had oil there, but they didn't know how much. At that time, oil was only $3 a barrel, so folks didn't make too much money off their oil. You know, now it's a lot different. If they come up and want a mineral right, you know, they'd probably get uh, $50 an acre if you get that much, you know. And uh, 
No, they, they get a tremendous amount of money for an acre. A lot of times I'll drive past the farm and go turn around at the monument and, and look at it and remember the excitement that was back in them in the old days. <laughs>